Get ready to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Hey there, welcome. Happy Saturday. I don't usually like to say happy Saturday. I don't know why, but it is, it's going to be a happy Saturday. So glad you are here. We have got a 30-minute full body workout, and this is our this is our last is this our last workout in August together for lives? I think this is our last August workout. Wow, crazy. All right, time is flying, and it's gonna fly by today because we have a super fun workout plan. We have three total rounds in each round. There are four exercises that we repeat two times. Working timer is gonna be on for 40 seconds, rest for 20, and then in between each round, we've got 45 seconds. So let's start with our warm up. Make sure you've got your dumbbells and your mat. That's the only thing you're gonna to need today. So starting, open and close, warming up the upper body, and we'll start working our way down. I hope you had a good week. I think. This week was good. It went by so quick. I was like totally out of it because Refine is finally starting. So I was putting that all together, getting it all over to the yay. Finally, we have a good website um, lady that I know can like get everything up. Big circles back. So she is getting that all around. So Refine is finally starting. If you don't know where Refine is, that is our newest program that we have. It's gonna be a five week program and it's gonna include cycling and strength. The focus is going to be on hit on the bike, so high intensity training on the bike and hypertrophy training for strength. Last one here. Now we're gonna take and reach from side to side and switch. So heart rate will come up just a little bit here, but we really wanna work on getting the muscles warm and our joints warm. Hey, you can start your watch if you wanna do that. Did someone else, or did, was there a reminder in the chat before I caught it? No, I've been waiting for one. Oh, hey, what's going on? Shantae, where are you? Are you out there? Because <laughs> she's always reminding us. One more here. Good, and now we're gonna take toes turned out, widen your stance. We're gonna bring it down and up. Good, down, reach up, down and up. We're gonna go into good mornings from here. Well, actually we're gonna do, we're gonna um, hold it down at the bottom and then we'll go into good mornings. So from here, hold it down, hands right above your knees. We're gonna twist, dropping that shoulder towards the floor, pressing away on your knee. So getting a nice warm up here in the lower body, the hips, the back, and exhaling as you press. One more each side and then we're gonna do good mornings. Good, so bring it up nice and slow. Hands on your hips, good mornings. We're gonna keep a slight bend in the knee. We're gonna hinge at the hips, pushing those hips back, and then squeeze up. So back and up. Warming up the hamstrings now and the glutes. And up. Next, we're gonna hit, hit the hips, warm those up. In three. Here's two. And last one, back, back flat, core engage. From here, we're gonna bring it up, hold it for a second, then out to the side and down. So up, open the hip up, hold it, and down. So getting a combo of the hip circles as we rotate the hip, but just not my awkward march of the, <laughs> and down, and out, good. Bring it up. Almost there, then we're gonna do quad stretches. So here we go, quad stretches. So reaching back, hold it, and then switch. And we'll just switch it right over to the other side and we'll alternate back and forth, not holding it too long, but ju just letting those muscles warm up. And down. A Couple more on each side. And then we'll do some wrist circles, some ankle circles. And then I think it's about time to get down to business. And we'll do one more. Good, so let's do some wrist circles one way. We're going right, we're going heavy right away. We're going into a staggered stance squat on one side and then the other side. So we've switched directions here in three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do some ankle circles, so just warming your ankles up. A few more circles. We can take it the other direction in three, two, and one. Other side. So circling it up. 
We'll switch it in five seconds. And then I'm gonna just show you the first exercise, so switch it up before we go. All right, so first exercise is a staggered stance squat. So you can do this with or without weight, um, but let me show you what it looks like with the weight. So feet are gonna be just a little wider than shoulder width. You're gonna take one leg back. You're gonna be up on the toe for that one leg. Dumbbells are right around that forward leg, and we're gonna come down and up. So we're taking a staggered stance with our squat, really helping us focus on one leg, and then we're gonna focus on the other. So grab your dumbbells. We're getting ready to go into this. We've got 40 seconds. I know you may, you may have been watching me, so we'll wait just a few more seconds and we'll get into it. So we'll go in five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep that chest up, down, and up. Good. So weight is light on the back foot. You've got most of your weight here on that front foot. And the dumbbells also around that leg. Adding the resistance up here. Keeping your chest up. Squeezing the hips at the top still. So two times through for this exercise and then we'll switch sides. Good, almost there, 10 seconds. Down and up. Keep your chest up, core engaged. Four seconds. And last one, down and up. Shake it out. This is the leg that needs the shaking. Rest, yeah. 20, 20 seconds. <laughs> Guess I didn't feel Jason in exactly how this was gonna go today. No, you didn't. Oh, well, I mean, I assumed. I, I always write the board out. He comes down, he gets, he gets his I'm stuff around. I'm just looking for the numbers. If he doesn't ask questions, I don't have any answers. So here we go, 40 seconds. Staggered stance, squat, same side. Good, down and up. Keep your chest up, exhale as you press through right here and up. Good, over halfway, last time for this. I really have, for refine, I have a serious focus of going heavier again. I did with, which, which, yeah, Rebel 2. But what was the, what was our program we just had? Why can't I remember it? Refine, Rebel, you would think this would be easier, 20 seconds on the rest timer. What is happening? Thank you very much. <laughs> He's texting. I don't know. No, my phone's blowing up over here. I've been getting calls from Chile and uh, in Texas, like back to back to back. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh. Scammers, maybe. I thought you meant Chili's like the restaurant at first, but you're saying like Chile, like, okay. No, seriously, look. What in I'll, the world? They're watch. calling again? I'll decline it and it'll start ringing from somewhere else. We've got to go 40 seconds. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 40 seconds, here we go. So just switching sides, so you take that stance and back, down, and up. Weight is in the heel. Good, keep that chest up, shoulders rolled down and back. Can you feel the extra pressure here on this front leg, or the extra resistance, I should say? Oh, he's answering the call. What's happening? Is this, is this scammer? <laughs> Jason, Jason no, the scammer's right now. <laughs> Last one, 20 seconds. Jason, rest timer, 20 seconds. <laughs> Can anyone hear Jason right now? He's saying, hello, is this the scammer? Hello, is this the scammer? <laughs> they hung up on the reason is we watched that scammer payback. I don't know if you watched that pierogi on scammer payback. Wonderful what he's doing, but now we're like getting all these scammer calls we realize. But you don't even realize it sometimes. Here we go, 40 seconds. Down and up. Down. We're gonna hit upper body next. Make sure you get that push right here at the top with the glutes squeezing, pushing those hips forward. Jason's brave. If I, if I know it's a scammer. If I can waste a scammer's time, it I just fulfills me. <laughs> he, Jay, I will answer. And then as soon as I'm like, oh, this is a scammer, 
I will block the call. <laughs> but Jason's like, Jason will totally mess with them. I'm like, oh my word. I get a little nervous. Last one. Nice job. All right. Hammer curls with a twist. So you remember those hammer curls. Pull them together. We're going to bring it up. When we get up to the top, rotate out. So thumbs are going to come out just a little bit to really emphasize that contraction in your bicep. So grab your dumbbells. Go heavy. Go heavy. Here we go. Hammer curl and rotate. And down. Up. I really hope it wasn't someone trying to buy something from us on Dubizzle. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, since we're, we're moving and all, we're trying to sell some stuff. <laughs> and no, not a chance. Okay. Well, this is a workout. This is also um, an interesting conversation we're having. We're back to the workout. Stay focused here. Uh, that, that was, the stay focused was for me, by the way. Yeah, work out with us and watch us get scammed. <laughs> Stella, we're gonna need you to do something about this. Come on, bring that sass over here. All right. <laughs> and I just said sass. I just hope that the S came out. I was like, I just said that and I was like, oh, did that just sound like something that I didn't want to say? 10 seconds. <laughs> oh my God. All right, same thing. Hammer curl with a twist. You know how Saturdays go. Sometimes they get a little funky, wild and weird. Here we go. Curl and twist and down. Make sure your shoulders are down away from your ears. So as we curl up, don't let those shoulders come up for a ride too. They are nice and relaxed. Just twisting here, good. I'm just gonna turn a little bit. So you can see arms nice and close to your side, squeeze it up, rotate. Ooh, over halfway. We're gonna hit the biceps just a bit on this next exercise. We're gonna hit the back and the biceps because we're gonna do a reverse row. Last one, squeeze and down. All right, so next exercise, I'm gonna show you what we've got going on. So hit in the back, shoulders roll down and back. From here, you're gonna hinge it at the hips. Back is flat, Re reverse row, we're down and squeeze up. So you can see right here, palms are facing away. We've got 40 seconds, here we go. Exhale with the lift. Get those arms all the way extended, and then squeeze shoulder blades around spine. Hold it for a second at the top. Take this one nice and slow, because I really want you to feel the back working, and then when you're up here at the top, you can feel those biceps contracting as well. You're over halfway. Wrist stays straight with this one as well, so don't let your wrist come up as you try to row the weight up. Wrists are hanging, arms are hanging down. It's the back and it's a little bit into the biceps that are working. And down. Okay, I need to rest now. Whew, all right. We are, can you go any heavier? Let's, if we can, let's try to, let's go a little bit if you If you've got heavier weights and you think I can do this for one more set of back, go for it now. We gotta get ready for refine. I mean, it is right around the corner. Here we go, hinge it over, back flat, and we row and squeeze, whoo, exhale right here as you pull that weight up, nice job, let those back muscles extend down here, so full range all the way down, those muscles get a little bit of a stretch, and then we contract them back up, 10 seconds, and then 45 seconds to rest after this. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Nice, 45 seconds, breathe it out. All right, made it to round two already. Round two, we're gonna be on the mat for actually, yeah, for this whole thing. So we're gonna work, first exercise is going to be a wide push up. So arms are gonna be out a little bit wider. Then we're gonna do a pullover with our dumbbell. We're gonna, and then we're gonna work abs. So you'll just need one or two dumbbells for that pullover. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. So keep that off to the side. Getting ready to go into our wide push-up. So again, normal push-ups would be just right about here. Wide push-ups, you're taking it out wide. It's gonna be a new challenge. So if you need to go to your knees, make sure you're keeping your core engaged, toes or knees, and here we go. Whew. 
but keep in mind too, your arms are, oh, that's a good camera. Okay, good. You can see the elbows are still going just at a slight angle back. We're not taking our arms out like this to do the push up. So the elbows are still going back. That hand position is just a bit wider. Whew. Come on, squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes. Keep that core strong. How is the time? Oh, good. Five seconds. And up. 20 seconds to rest. Nice job. That's a little bit more challenging. I can feel it in my lats a little bit more with that one. So we're gonna be working that because we're gonna hit the pullover, not this exercise, but next one through. So wide push up again. Once more, you are rocking it. Get back into position. We've got 40 seconds. Here we go. And up, push that floor away. It is burning. Almost halfway though. And up, good. Couple more reps. You've got five seconds and one. Nice job. All right, let me show you the pull over really quick. So I'm gonna use one dumbbell for this holding on to the end of your dumbbell. We're gonna bring the dumbbell back and down, arms are straight, and then you pull over. So pull that weight back up, stopping right about chest level. So you don't wanna pull the dumbbell all the way down towards your belly button. So keeping that weight up, 40 seconds, here we go. Arms are straight, take it down, nice and controlled, and then pull back up, squeeze. You're gonna feel your core engage on this one. You're gonna feel the triceps. Again, your lats near your rib cage there. The sides of your rib cage, I should say. Down. Ooh. And up. Over halfway. Again, stop the weight just about chest level, so don't pull it too far over. You want to keep control of that dumbbell. Down. Exhale with the pull and time. Nice job. Oh, all right. Rest it out here. Hitting the abs next so you can feel the core already working right now. And then we're going to have two ab exercises to really work the core. So really no lower body exercises in this round. I always try to go a little bit lighter on lower bodies when I know we have cycling afterwards. But let's begin. Here we go. 40 seconds. Down and up. Good, control it down. Keep those arms nice and close to your head as you come down as well. So make sure those elbows aren't bending out. And pull, really feel this in the chest as well. And pull, good. Last one here, because you've got three seconds. Okay, oh, and up, nice job. All right, we are going on to a crunch and a clap. So we're gonna alternate marching just like this. Bring it up and crunch it. Modification, hands behind the head and you are crunching. So we've got four seconds and we're gonna get right into that. And here we go. Exhale with the lift, really get those shoulder blades up here. This may even look like a little bit more than a crunch to you and almost more of a sit up. So really think about bringing it up. The clap to me is just a nice little distractor from the burn. And it kind of gives you a nice little tempo to work with too. Down and back up, down and up. Whew. Less than 10. Come on, keep going. And there's one, nice. You can stretch it out. Let those abs have just a quick break because we go again in 15 seconds, same exercise. Okay, you're doing awesome and guess what? We're more than halfway through. 
So that just means we've got about 15 seconds left. I said start your watch and I never started my watch. Just realized that. Back to the march and clap. Here we go. And maybe you find that you still want to do the march, but you feel like your neck is bothering you. Just march the legs, keep the hands behind the head. Just a nice, gentle touch behind your head because you don't want to crunch your neck. Oh my goodness, the abs are burning and we still have one ab exercise after this. Five seconds. Come on, keep going, keep it strong. Two and okay. Oh, relax, all right. Next exercise, we are going side to side heel taps. So really think about getting those shoulder blades up off of the mat. We're gonna reach side to side here, working the obliques. You can also just keep your hands behind your head and do that side to side crunch. So here we go. Well, now I'm trying to put my hands behind my, <laughs> behind my head. Good, tap it out, really reach. Are the abs on fire on this one? Oh my word, my abs are burning right now. That's good. I mean, we're, we're working for it. <laughs> tap it out. Exhale with the tap here. Good. Ooh, over halfway. Ten seconds. Keep those shoulder blades up. Come on, you're getting close. Get them up just a little bit further. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, oh, one. Stretch it back if you need to. You can extend the arms, extend 45 the 45 or 20? What? 45 seconds or 20? No, 20. We have one more. <laughs> I thought you we said one, one more exercise. No, we have one more, one more round of heel taps. Oh, okay. And then, yes. But, hey, you're on it now, so high five. Yay. Jason's trying to give us extra rest, which I want to take, but we are, we're, we're working it right now. So let's go again. Heel taps in three. Get those shoulder blades up, and let's begin. Reach for the heels. But yes, 45 seconds of rest will be next in 33 seconds. Come on, get the shoulder blades up. If you need to take just a quick second to stretch it back, get right back into it. Halfway, 20 seconds. I can't even talk because my abs are burning so much. I feel like I'm on a phone call that's cutting in and out. Five seconds. Two. Oh my goodness. Okay, 45. Thank you. <sighs> Stretch it back if you need to. All right, I'm gonna pop up. You can hang out there on the ground. In fact, do because it's probably lovely. Next exercise, shoulder press. So when that timer's up, we're going right into shoulder press, down and up, we're going heavy. Then we are working triceps press back. So we're just gonna lift, lift, lift. Then calf raises, finally sumo squat. So those are four exercises. Grab your dumbbells for the shoulder press and let's get ready to go. You know what? I'm going, I'm going all in. <sighs> Grab your dumbbells, we've got five seconds. Here's two, let's go. Now pay attention this round to make sure you've gone heavy enough for your shoulder press. Exhale as you lift. Now you don't have to be going at the same pace as me. You may be going a little bit faster, maybe even slower. I'm going slow because I decided to go at the top of my range right now. 10 seconds. Come on, keep pressing, keep those wrists straight. Five, last one. Here's three, two, Whew, amazing. Shake it out, 20 seconds. Last time for shoulders. Can you go a little bit heavier? <sighs> 10 seconds. Jason's getting set up for cycling. I am excited for today's ride. I, I gotta tell you, it's a little bit shorter than last week, but it is uh, probably still gonna burn just as much. <laughs> We're going again, by the way. <sighs> Jason, I really feel like you should come out here and me for this one. This is how we used to do it in the gym. I would go like, 
heavy and Jason would sometimes have to help me. It's fun like that. I like it. 15 seconds. You've got it. Come on, last one, last one, two, and one. 20 seconds. Now we're going into tricep press back. So you may want to go down in weight. Arms are going to stay straight. We're going to hinge over just slightly at the hips, slight bend in the knee, and we're going to press, press. So those palms are going to be facing up and away. Grab your dumbbells and let's get going. Here we go. Back is flat, so you want to make sure your back isn't arching or your bum sticking out too far for this one. Good. So just a small movement. Only lifting those dumbbells up just a few inches and then back down. This one you can get a lot of reps in because it's a small range of motion. So the, the rep count is high on this one. So if you feel the burn, that is why. In three, two, one. Oh, nice. At least this is gonna be our last time through for anything upper body, because the last two exercises are all lower body. We've got 10 seconds. Finish out strong with this last exercise. Grab your dumbbells. We go in five, three, two. Here we go. Press it back. Shoulders roll down and back as well. So make sure the shoulders aren't up here and you're trying to press. Get those down. If you have a mirror, this would be a helpful one to look in the mirror to make sure, because this one is kind of hard to tell sometimes if your shoulders are creeping up. Don't hold it down too long at the bottom. Once you feel that dumbbell come back and tap you, you bring it right back up. And press. Good, 15 seconds. 10. The arms are shaking on this one. Three, two, and one. Nice, all right, so going into calf raise next. You can do this with or without dumbbells if you need a little bit of balance to make sure that you're getting all the way up on the toes and then back down. You can hold on to something, no dumbbells, or you can have two dumbbells down by your side or one up at your chest. So grab your dumbbells or your dumbbell and let's begin. Here we go. We're gonna lift and lower. Breathing, hold it at the top for just a, about two counts and then back down. Hold it up and down, good. Fifteen seconds. Oh, this one is getting it. Mm -hmm. Five, three, two, and one. 20 seconds to rest. If you can go a little bit heavier, grab your dumbbells now. That next and final, or we're, so we're doing the one more um, round of calf raises, then we're going right into sumo squats. So let's get ready. We've got five seconds. Here we go. Lift and lower. Shoulders rolled down and back and down. Good. Squeeze it. 20 seconds, this is halfway. Come on, you've got it. This is, calf raises always get me. I'm like always like, da, 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 da. I have to like focus on them so I, don't, so I don't tumble over. And especially because there's such a shake by the end of them. Two and one nice job 20 seconds to rest then we're going into sumo squats so i'll just show you quickly toes are going to be out you can use one dumbbell right in the center or you can use two just like this so if you've got one it'll look just like this down and up or two right here on your hip but we've got to go timer is on down and squeeze good i'm mixing it up today because i've we did sumo squats for this upcoming week of workout. So I'm mixing it up now, putting it on the hips. 
this next week for our workouts. This is actually, if you um, purchase the August calendar, there is actually a workout on Tuesday and Wednesday, both full body. There is one full body workout. It is a 10 minute workout, but I'm telling you what, working timer is on longer, rest timer is short, and I'm telling you, we pack it in 10 minutes for real. Last one, down and up. Rest it out, 20 seconds. Last exercise. Wow, that's exciting. Okay, that means we are getting close to the cycling class too. We go in 10 seconds, final sumo squat. Here we go, in three, two, and let's squat. Last time, down and squeeze. Good, keep the weight in the heels, keep the chest up. And up. Breathing down and up. Halfway. Come on, stay strong. This is your last 20 seconds. Down and up. Breathe. 10. Almost there. Last rep. Down and up. Okay, you are the bomb. I want to thank you so much for joining me for our live Saturday strength session. I just love you and I love Saturdays. If you are done with your workouts, do not forget to get a stretch. But if you are coming to the cycling channel, I will see you over there for our workout today. I cannot wait for that. Have an amazing day or see you at the cycling channel. I love you.